My child, I firmly believe that the roots of our adult thinking and behavior are profoundly laid during our adolescent years. The way our parents raise us and the environments we grow up in play a pivotal role in shaping our perceptions and reactions to life circumstances. Our parents being our primary authorities influence our mindset and conduct. Even as we develop critical thinking, we subconsciously rely on the foundational conditioning provided by our parents. Beyond the immediate physical injuries inflicted upon children through maltreatment, the aftermath of abuse or neglect can reverberate throughout their lives, leaving profound and even intergenerational impacts. The repercussions extended to physical, psychological, and behavioral realms casting a shadow on society as a whole. While these consequences may manifest independently, they often intertwine creating a complex web of challenges. Consider this. Abuse or neglect can impede the physical development of a child's brain, fostering psychological issues such as diminished self-esteem. This in turn may contribute to the adoption of high-risk behaviors like substance use during later stages of life. The impact on each child varies widely, influenced by factors such as their age and developmental stage at the time of maltreatment. The nature, the frequency, duration, and severity of the abuse and the relationship dynamics with the perpetrator. Moreover, children subjected to maltreatment are frequently entangled in a web of other adverse experiences, parental substance use, domestic violence, poverty, making it challenging to disentangle the unique effects of maltreatment. Delving into psychological consequences reveals the disturbing toll of disturbed brain development, leading to impairments in executive functions like working memory, self-control, and cognitive flexibility. Childhood maltreatment becomes a harbinger of mental health issues in adulthood, with an increased risk of depression, anxiety, and psychiatric disorders. Studies even show a higher prevalence of suicide attempts among adults with a history of adverse childhood experiences. The tendrils of maltreatment extend into behavioral consequences. Adults who endure childhood maltreatment face significantly higher risks of substance use disorders. The correlation between child maltreatment and future delinquency and criminal activities is well documented. Research founded by the National Institute of Justice emphasizes that children exposed to physical and emotional abuse are more likely to develop antisocial behaviors from connections with similar inclined individuals. While most maltreated children do not perpetuate the cycle, research suggests they are more inclined to do so compared to their non-maltreated counterparts. This cycle of maltreatment can emerge from early learned behaviors where children internalize the idea that physical abuse or neglect is an acceptable form of parenting. Breaking this cycle necessitates a comprehensive understanding of the intricate interplay between maltreatment and its far-reaching consequences. It is imperative to recognize these dynamics to formulate effective strategies for intervention, support, and prevention. So my message to you guys in the end is, don't be an abusive parent. Even if you have faced maltreatment by your parents and saw behaviors which were never meant to be seen by a child, and you, you saw that, you don't want that for your own children. Because who knows, you will be creating monsters, non-functioning people, non-functioning uh, children who wouldn't be able to pursue their dreams, who wouldn't have a vision. So don't be an abusive parent. Work on yourself. Self-development is the key. Work on yourself to be a better person in order to be a better parent and in order to be a hero to your children. Click here now to watch more and wake up.